In this video, we're going to complete example five. We're going to subtract the following mixed numerals and express our solution in simplest form. Now, you might remember that there are two different methods you can use to do this. I'm only going to focus on method two because I find this quicker and easier to do. Method two says to add or subtract the whole numbers and fractions separately. So for this example, we're going to subtract them separately. All right, so starting off with the fractions three over five and one over five. If we subtract them, the denominator is going to stay the same. It's going to stay as five. And three minus one gives us a numerator of two. And once we've done that, we then focus on our whole numbers. What is four minus three? It's one. That gives our final solution of one and two fifths. Now moving on to question B, remembering that we start by subtracting the fractions. Now you'll notice that the fractions have different denominators. One has a denominator of four and the other has a denominator of eight. To fix this, I'm going to change the fraction one over four and I'm going to multiply both the top and the bottom by two. 1 times 2 is 2, and 4 times 2 is 8. Now both fractions have the same denominator of 8. Remembering that I need to write my whole number of 2 next to the fraction 2 over 8. We're still focusing on the fractions first. What is 2 over 8 minus 5 over 8? And you'll notice that we're faced with a big problem here because... I can't really do 2 minus 5. Well, I can. I can do it. But I'm going to get a negative number, and I really don't want that. In fact, it's just not going to work if you do that. So how are we going to get around that? What we're going to do is we're going to focus on the mixed numeral to the left, and we're going to manipulate this in such a way that we can subtract our fractions. How am I going to do that? Well... I'm going to turn my whole number of 2 into 1 plus 1. 1 plus 1 makes 2. And I'm also going to add it to my fraction of 2 over 8. It's the same thing. I've written the same thing down, except I've kind of expanded it or kind of pulled it apart into three different sections. Next, I'm going to change one of my whole numbers into a fraction. The, the number 1 is the same as saying 8 over 8. 8 over 8 is one whole. So I'll just, I'll just rub it out, and I'll replace that one with 8 over 8. Why would I do that? Well, now I can add these fractions up. 8 over 8 plus 2 over 8 is 10 over 8. The denominator stayed the same, and the numerator is 8 plus 2 made 10. In fact, I actually want to get rid of this plus here. I don't want that plus. I'm just going to put the 1 next to my fraction of 10 over 8, right next to it. It's the same as saying 1 and 10 eighths. Now, what you'll notice, I'll just color this in green. Everything that I've circled in green is the exact same mixed numeral. It's just been written in three different forms. Why would I do this? Well, if I take the one down the very bottom, one and ten eighths, and I subtract five eighths, you can see that I can do this quite easily. Focusing on my fractions first, the denom denominators are both eight, so my solution will have a denominator of eight. With the numerators, ten minus five makes five. And when I focus on the whole numbers, the whole number being 1, th there is no other whole number. So I'm just going 1 minus nothing, which gives me a whole number of 1. This now gives me my final solution of 1 and 5 eighths. Let's now focus on question C. Once again, the denominators are different, so we we're going to fix that. I'm going to multiply my fraction 4 over 9 by 2. And for my fraction 5 over 6, I'm going to multiply both the top and the bottom by 3. And you'll see that we'll get denominators that are the same. 4 times 2 is 8, and 9 times 2 is 18. I need to put my whole number to the left of that. 
and my fraction 5 over 6 when I multiply it by 3 5 times 3 is 15 and 6 times 3 is 18 putting my whole number next to that as well so I've just rewritten my fractions with the same denominator I still need to focus on subtracting these just like question B I'm faced with an issue because when I subtract the numerators 8 minus 15 I can't really do that without getting a, a negative number so once again I need to fix that and I do that by focusing on the mixed numeral to the left I'm going to change my 5 into 4 plus 1 and I can do that because 4 plus 1 is just is just 5 I also need to add my fraction next to that my fraction being 8 over 18 now you might remember that 1 is the same as 18 over 18 because 18 over 18 is just one whole so I'm going to take my number 1 here I'm going to rub it out and replace it with the fraction 18 over 18 it's the same as writing 1 it's just one whole now I'm going to add these two fractions together the denominators are 18 so the denominators stay the same and 18 plus 8 gives me 26 I also had a whole number of 4 here which I need to put next to my fraction so I get 4 and 26 eighteenths now I'm just going to circle in green these three mixed numerals they're all the same mixed numerals they've just been written in different forms it's, it's the same thing now I'm still trying to subtract my mixed numeral 3 and 15 eighteenths but I'm in a much better position to do it I've rewritten it in such a way where I can perform this operation first of all our denominator is 18 for both fractions so it's going to stay the same and then I subtract the numerals what is 26 minus 15 well this gives me 11 okay and now that I've subtracted my fractions I can now subtract my whole numbers 4 minus 3 gives me 1 and this is my final solution 1 and 11 eighteenths anyway that concludes this video on example 5 remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video